Hello everybody and welcome to this week's game devlog on Negative World, a game where jumps are limited. Lots of editing and polish to address, so let's get into it. Been doing a lot of level editing this week due to trying to get content complete by the end of this month, or four days at the time of writing. World 4 is now built and ready to be iterated on. 4.8 is a little bit of a callback to 2.10 with the falling spice coming at the player from the side. Simple. The original idea for 4.9 was to have the only way up to the goal be breakable, but turned out to be really, really easy. I'm probably going to make this 4-2 with a few more edits. 4-10, the last non-optional level, takes nearly everything the player has learned up to this point, not just in this world, but the entire game, to make it up this big, big wall, which is eventually going to be a mountain when all the art assets are in. World 4 isn't the only world I worked on this week. World 3 now has coins. Cha-ching. 310 has an added coin hell gauntlet with a homing spike. Player needs to get 10 coins, else they won't get through. Again, hammering in things the player should have learned up to this point. I've also edited World 1 and 2, but they're really, really minuscule changes, like moving something 0, 3 points up the y-axis. You know, stuff like that. Though this week was mostly level editing, started some under the hood editions, such as a save manager, which will save the game when it's called by other objects, obviously. And I started on hardcore mode logic, the mode where the player will go as far as they can without resetting the level. All of its code right now, getting the logic in, it's still in progress. Like I said, I'm trying to get content complete, which entails making art assets for world three and four, getting all the normal levels refined enough to start working on the inverse levels, basically harder versions of the same levels except starting from the end, getting the hardcore mode logic actually working, and making key objects and logic for the gates to minimize confusion. Like I said, content complete in four days. Before I close out, I just want to give one more update. Nintendo did get back to me saying the game will not be on the Switch, unfortunately. Currently reaching out to Microsoft and Sony at the moment. Fingers crossed. That'll be it for this week. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Take care of yourselves and have a good week.